final key to any good application is support. Not only do, does Rotoclip offers, offer retaining rings to support your retained parts and your application, we also offer engineering support. Um, our website has easily downloadable CAD data, including 3D prints in, or 3D designs in the installed state. So if you're making an application, go to our website, pull down the ring you need, and just drop it right into your groove. No need to figure out how to design a wave spring or retaining ring in SolidWorks or whatever your CAD program of choice is. Uh, we also offer design calculators, PDF prints and catalogs for all of our parts, free samples, um, additional online information. And then at our facility, we offer load testing for springs, um, rapid prototyping with our uh, laser, laser cutting equipment and 3D printing um, in our latest 3D printer. We also offer remote and on-site engineering assistance. So if you are looking to have us come visit you, we're usually more than willing to make the trip. Final consideration is packaging. Um, the, you know, once you have your design specified, you now have to worry about how to assemble it. And we can offer you parts in bulk if you're looking at low volume or if, you're, if you don't mind um, sorting through parts and picking out the untangling. Um, because that can be an issue, we offer rings on wire and shrink wrap parts. So rings on wire is an innovation that Rotorclip came up with that not only provides a easy product for our customer to use, but also provides cost savings because rings are captured off the machine with thin wire through the lug holes and then can be heat treated and finished all together. Um, allows us to load, allows us more throughput and also allows us to get simple, easily stacked parts to our customer. Um, if you don't want to deal with the wire, we'll gladly cut the wires and shrink wrap the parts for you. We can also bowl stack or um, stack many of our parts and put them onto rods, as you'll see second from the right. And these rods are easily loaded into our dispensers um, for use with our screwdriver type applicators. So you can pick a ring, install it, pick another ring, install it, very easy for you, your um, assembly people, or the robots that are taking over. Um, and finally, we offer stacked parts not on rod, so they can be easily loaded onto your own automated assembly equipment. So now you know a lot about retaining rings, but maybe you don't know where they're used other than on your specific application. They're all over. They're in sunroofs, side view mirrors, airbags, ignition switches, steering wheels. Skip a few, we'll go to turbochargers, starters, filters, transfer cases, brake systems, transmissions, heating, and door locks. Now that you know about them, you're going to see them everywhere. A couple examples of applications are gear retention, actuators, pulleys, rocker arms, electric motors, we really like that electric motor picture. Quick connects, centrifugal, sorry, centrifugal pumps, butterfly valves, side view mirrors, my personal favorite, when you're walking through the parking lot and you knock into someone's mirror and it turns inward instead of just completely breaking off like they used to. The mechanism controlling that is a wave spring in most cases. And then finally slip clutches and fishing reels, and that's just to name a few. So we have a Q&A. Hopefully you've been asking some questions with the Q&A tab during the presentation. Um, and we'll try to get some of these answered now.
Matthias, we have already had a few questions, so we're going to get right away, get into them right away. If you, uh, you'd like to ask a question, please just type it into the question window and hit the submit button. We'll uh, hopefully have time for it. Uh, the first question is, uh, what is your turnaround time for special or parts that are not in production? So turnaround time is very dependent on part type. Um, our laser equipment, we usually offer a lead time of six to eight weeks. We can push that lead time up if necessary. Um, as far as parts that are wire formed where all tooling is in place, we're again around six to eight weeks. And then if tooling needs to be designed, especially for stamped parts, um, lead times can extend up to 16 to 20 weeks. Okay, and uh, I think we have a few questions here. I'm just going to run through. Uh, does Rotor Clip offer free samples? Are your rings ROHF compliant? And do you meet military standards? So Rotor Clip offers free samples of in stock parts off our website. Um, if you go on our website, you can request, depending on the size, between two and six retaining rings to test. Um, and we ship those out uh, via standard mail, although if you need them a little bit quicker, you can give us a UPS or FedEx number and we'll send them out however you like. As far as Rojas compliance, our, all of our base materials are Rojas compliant. Um, we'll, what if we add cadmium or um, zinc dichromate to our rings, we are no longer Rojas compliant, but the majority of the rest of our finishes um, are Rojas and REACH compliant. Rotor Clip offers military standard rings for our tapered section rings and our spiral products. We also offer aerospace uh, spec spiral rings as well. The next question I see here is, can your parts be customized if needed? So customization on, um, on our wire form parts, our constant section wire form parts are, is pretty simple. It's just a matter of changing the material size or changing the diameter. On our tapered section rings, we can often change thickness by a gauge or two. Um, beyond that, we would need to look into retooling, um, and that's where our laser machine comes in very handy for low volume samples. Um, see a question here from from one of our participants on what is the largest diameter ring you can make slash have made. Currently the largest ring we have made is 945 millimeters. That's almost a diameter or around 38 inches for those speaking in inches. Um, on the small end, we're talking smaller than a pencil eraser. Um, those large rings were DIN standard rings, the DIN spec goes up to about 1,000 millimeters and we cover the entire range. On the inch side, the standard retaining ring specs go up to 15 inches. Do we ever work with titanium? If not, what is the lightest alloy we work with? We have not worked with titanium. Um, the heat treat gives us a little bit of trouble there, but we do often um, get requests for it, and we are always looking for ways to process titanium for our customers. What is the leading cause of locking tab failures on spiral rings? Um, I have not seen a failure on a locking spiral ring. The leading cause, if I were to think of one, would be if the tab was not punched high enough, so you did not get engagement, or if the 
ring was not in, um, if the ring did not have any axial force on it, so the two sections could actually separate, allowing the ring to flip over the tab. Okay, do you want to give us one more question before we go? And we're running out of time. Sure. Yeah, and if we if we have any left over after that, we'll try to send a direct answer. See if we have a good one. All right. I have a 3 16 inch diameter pin that I am using as a hinge pin for a small lever. What is the best kind of retaining ring to hold this pin in place? The ring would sit coincident against a flat face. So at 3 16 um, you may want to try our E-rings or C-rings due to their ease of installation. Um, we also have SHM rings at that size. And I believe we also have, we may have SHF style rings at that size. SHFs can be used without a groove, so that would decrease the cost of manufacturing your pins since you wouldn't have to cut a groove. Um, hope that answers your question, and thanks everyone for coming out today. All right. Well, that'll conclude our presentation. On behalf of Machine Design, I'd like to thank Rotorclip for sponsoring today's event, and of course for all of you for joining. Have a great and productive rest of your day.